Claire, you're mm -hmm. serving up a plum buckle. Yes. Now, did, did you ever have, have? Did you ever hear of a plum buckle before? I never did hear. Well, of a plum you never did hear before. of it. Well, that is a mystery because a plum, a buckle is in the family of cobblers and crisps and all those rustic fruit desserts. Yeah. So you know about a crisp. Crisp got like brown sugar, mm. butter topping. Mm -hmm. uh, crumbles got oats in there. Um, there's pan dowdy. Yes. That's fruit with pie crust on top. Yep. Uh, there's grunt and slump. Oh, I've never heard of that. Which is literally like dumplings baked in oh, a pot. Oh, okay. Uh, very popular in Nova Scotia. Yeah. Uh, and then there is uh, brown betty, which has got breadcrumbs on top. There's so many. I know. I just want to eat them all. Yes, you do. Uh, so the buckle, what distinguishes that? You make a very soft cake batter using melted butter, okay. and then you put the fruit on top. Oh. And then the cake, oh my gosh, it rises, rises? up and it kind of it envelops down. the fruit. And then it, it's so good. It's like a pudding. It's pudding cakeish. It's a pudding it's a cake. Pudding cake because it's quite dense and yeah. moist inside. Yeah. And I, I kind of lo I lost all my words. It's so good. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Understand. I'm just gonna She's beat this a egg. Moment. That's okay. So the other great thing about this, and with all those lovely rustic fruit desserts, very very easy. Good. So in there, Miss, take your little spoonie or yep. spatula. Mm -hmm. That's just uh, flour, baking powder, and salt. Okay. And I like you put in three quarters of that. Just three quarters of that. Because we're going to save some. Yeah. Yeah. And then over here, I've got a single egg, a quarter of a cup of butter, nothing really, and then two thirds of a cup of milk. Okay. If you have cream, if you have a mix of milk and cream, if you got the end of your like whatever, you can just be very, very flexible okay. on this. Okay. Okay. So, I love that. I love hearing the word flexible when flexible. it comes to making desserts. Well, do you know sometimes I don't know if this happens to you. I buy cream because someone's coming to visit and they take cream in their coffee. Yes. And then the cream you sits in my fridge. You don't need all that cream. Oh, no. Yeah. Um, Use it for this. Now, how about some vanilla and some almond? How do you Let's feel about do almonds? It. Do you like almonds? I love both. I really love almond, but there are some almond haters out there. Really? I know. Okay. Uh, well, it just, you know what? Hate you us. know who you are. Um, <laughs> we're not going to call you out. We're not going to call you out. You know. But we are, what I'm using, uh, the fruit I'm using for this one is the yellow plums that are in right now. Okay. These gorgeous things. Actually, some of them look a lot more yellow. Um, some of them look a lot more orange. They just, look amazing. But what, are there any alternate uh, fruits that you would use for this? Anything that's got a stone on the inside. Okay. So peach, nectarine, apricot. Yeah. Uh, Plum, plum cot, plum terrine. Right. Be All sorts cot. of plum things. All those things. Anything with a big fit in the middle. Exactly. So, okay, that is it. Uh, Are you going to do it in the middle? You gonna, no, nah, not really. Okay, whatever. You know, it, it's like a quick bread, but you don't have to be that fussy about okay. it. Okay, all right. And then I'm going to cook this in my 8x8 pan. And I know this looks like a fancy cake pan. Is it, use your ordinary Pyrex 8x8 okay. dish. No problem. All right. No problem. It's still going to work. It's still going to work. I put my parchment paper in there because, as I said, this is a really moist cake. And yes. so you want to be able to get it out of the pan or just serve it from the pan. Yeah. Honestly, people are not going to care. Uh, handy dandy spray. Isn't it so cool that cooking has become so rustic that you can just say, oh no, I wanted a rustic vibe. That just eat it with a fork. <laughs> only reason why pan. I've been successful. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> Now, now it's totally in. If you have that nice, let's get the edges there, Miss. Okay. Please. Oh, you don't right. want to have any dry bits left over. All right. I was just trying to be tender, but do I have to be tender with this? Mm, no, not really. It's okay. pretty, like I said, it's pretty rustic, pretty all easy right. going. And then uh, I'm not nearly going to get through chopping all these, but if you scrape that into the pan, all right. then I will be, oh, and you can use a mix um, of these. I'm just quartering these plums. So I just run my knife around one way, then around the other way, and then the corners pop off. Oh, nice. And then, you gotta make sure. You gotta make sure it's good. Well, no. no seriously, you have to see how tart they are. So, do you, are you gonna eat every one? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Thank you. Uh, one, you have. Once you have three cups of these, that's very nice. Very nicely Just done. It out. You sprinkle them on top. There are lots more. And then, depending on how tart they are. Mm -hmm. That one is actually quite tart. It, was it? <laughs> As Thomas would say, ooh, it made me shiver. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. So I've left back a quarter of a cup of this. Yeah. You want to just sprinkle it right on top. If they're mm. really tart, you need that Go extra more. bit of sugar, yeah. but if it's a peach or a nectarine that's like super juicy and sweet, just use maybe a tablespoon to give it a bit of crunch. Okay. Bakes in the oven for about an hour because it's so dense and moist at 350. Look at Yum. that. It's all crispy and crusty at the edges. I can't. It's, it's going to explode. And then excited. you put whipped cream on top, which is awesome. Well, you know, why not? Right? No, why not? Yeah. Or ice cream, right? Yeah. Whatever or just you cream. like. 